Good morning, my dear kids. Today we are going to learn new lesson, computer memory. In this one lesson, we are just overlook the some points as like measurement of computer memory, types of computer memory, and differentiate between primary and secondary memory. In this one lesson, first we are going to differentiate and finalizing some points as like units of measurement, as like just as the weight of a solid object is measured in kilograms or different objects as in form of liquid we are measuring in liters and milliliters an amount of data can be stored in a computer memory is measured as bytes means jo computer ki jo memory of data hai use hum measure karte hai bytes mein a computer store in form of ones and zeros means computer ka jo data hota hai wo ones and zeros mein store hota hai because this is a digital system understandable data वो उसको सिर्फ दो ही फॉर्म में यूज़ करेगा एज लाइक वन को ऑन करेगा या फिर जीरो को ऑफ समझेगा दिस इज वाई दे इज कॉल्ड डिजिटल सिस्टम अंडरस्टैंडेबल डेटा द स्टेट इज रिप्रेजेंट एज वन इज फॉर ऑफ एंड द जीरो इज फॉर दी ऑफ यू कैन सी इट्स क्लियरली ऑन मीन्स एक रहेगा ऑफ मीन्स जीरो रहेगा द स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट इन द मेजरमेंट ऑफ डेटा इज कॉल्ड बिट बाइनरी डिजिट सबसे स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट हमारे कंप्यूटर के अंदर सबसे स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट है बिट इट इज कॉल्ड बाइनरी डिजिट ए बिट इज ए सिंगल बाइनरी वैल्यू ऑफ आइदर जीरो और वन ए ग्रुप ऑफ एट बिट इज कॉल्ड बाइट मीन्स एट बिट्स का अगर हम प्रॉपर एक ग्रुप कर लें तो उसे हम कहेंगे बाइट्स एज लाइक इट कैन बी स्टोर एज एन वन कैरेक्टर ऑल्सो एज लाइक हेयर यू कैन सी इट्स क्लियरली वन बाइट इज इक्वल टू एट बिट्स here as like in form of images audio video this can contain and thousands of bytes therefore the memory often measured in kilobytes and megabytes and modern data storage devices has capability to storing thousands of such files as well nowadays we are having numbers of hard disk where we can store 2 tb or 4 tb data in it now we are having some chart of memory unit as in form of 1 kilobyte is in form of kb is equal to 1024 bytes 1 megabyte yumb is equals to 1024 kb 1 gigabyte in form of gb is equals to 1024 yumb 1 terabyte tb is equals to 1024 gb the types of memory our computer memory is specially defined in two different ways as like internal memory as in form of primary memory also is called and external memory is also called secondary memory so first of all we are going to learn about internal memory or in a primary memory as like in internal memory as like in primary memory is also store data programs that can be directly and quickly accessed by the processor while computer is running or computer is started मीन्स आपका जब कंप्यूटर स्टार्ट हो जाएगा एट द रन टाइम द इंटरनल मेमोरी इज गॉइंग टू यूज एज डायरेक्टली विदाउट हैविंग एनी टाइप ऑफ इंटरप्शन दीज आर एन हाई स्टोरेज डिवाइसेज लोकेटेड इन साइड ऑफ द कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एंड प्राइमरी स्टोरेज इज द एक्सपेंसिव कंपेयर टू द सेकेंडरी मेमोरी एज लाइक यू कैन सी दैट नाउ इट इज ऑल्सो इफ यू आर वर्किंग ऑन दिस वन कंप्यूटर सिस्टम एज लाइक यू कैन गेट दैट इंटरनल डिवाइसेज और इंटरनल स्टोरेज डिवाइस इज लिटिल बिट एक्सपेंसिव the capacity of primary memory is limited and it always much lesser compared to the secondary memory is true that always whenever we are working on primary memory as like internal memory as in form of ram and rom is having a is limited memory we we can upgrade it no issue in it but it is having permanently means whenever we are purchasing is having is unique and limited memory only so first we are going to divide it in two part ram and rom where ram stands for random access memory these types of memory is stored in different types of program where it execute and we is ex execution of program is already predefined in it where this processor fetches the data i need to process and store them in ram until it's processed means jab tak aapka kaam continuous chalo it is processed due with the help of ram without any any interruption as i can for an example if you are using open office writer the files are required to run at particular task application and which will move from the rom and ram also since it's much faster to read the write and from the ram and once task is done these files are replaced with the other files 
means continuously as like we are using microsoft office sometimes we are using media player and different types of video players as well so suddenly the files are changing our files are exchanging with one to another overlapping on it there is no problem each ram is providing the memory continuously from one to another end here ram is often refers as primary memory or main memory also of a computer here it is also called a volatile or temporary memory where because the data stored in it is lost when the computer is switched off it is read and write memory because it allows you to read data from store data on it rom rom is long form as like read only memory it is another type of primary memory that store data permanently and it is also called as non volatile memory because data store in it is not even lost when the computer is switched off rom is known as also read only memory because it can, we can only read it contain but cannot store data in it rom contain a special software call and by ios basic input output system that is used to start up an computer when computer is switched on on it as like bios is used to load an operating system also when the computer is get started its permanent memory when the computer manufacturers are developing at the run time only they are just developing and then they are only installing the all the files in rom only here we are having some external or secondary memory nowadays we are having numbers of external memory or secondary memory devices as in form of hard disk cd dvd blu-ray disc pen drive memory card and so on what is use of external memory exactly with the help of external memory we can store our data with very properly and we can carry that data one place to another place here are having some hard disk here with the hard disk you can see on the front on the screen right here at the corner of your right side this is called an your hard disk which is placed inside of your computer as like we it is placed inside of your cpu box here it is an internal hard disk as like here you can see that another hard disk is there which is an portable hard disk it is called an external okay okay here there are two types internal and external this is called an external hard disk where you can store your data in it and you can just take it out uh, with the help of the usb port plug in and plug out simple you can directly transfer your data from it next one is cd compact disk a compact disk is also called cd where the small plastic disk is stored and retrieves data using light <clears throat> to access the data stored on cd we need to place it in the cd drive and look it in front of the panel of cpu box a cd is either r means cd disk recordable or cd rw means cd disk rewritable cd r means readable only means whenever you are writing data it is only it can read only you cannot write on it once again here its memory is also like that 650 mb only and to 900 mb data only where you can save some generally music games and educational cds cd rw is also called as compact disk rewritable means you can record data on it once again and again again and again from 650 to 700 mb of data next part is digital versatile disk here it is also called an dvd the another media file where you can save your data missed more 15 times as compared to the cd here you can see the cd is having a 70 gb of data on it as in form of 2 4.7 gb means up us dvd par 4.7 gb se 17th 17 gb tak aap usko par data store kar sakte ho again also cd as well as dvd are both are in same functions as like cdr is like the dvdr is also like the means dvdr means where we can just write our data only on it but CD, dvd rw means where we can rewrite our data on it again and again as per user's choice here we are having blu ray disc 
A Blu-ray disc is high-end capacity optical disc which is developed for recording, rewriting, playback and high definition audio and video as well. Here a single layer of Blu-ray disc can store up to 25 GB while double layer of Blu-ray disc can store 5050 GB of high definition data on it. The disc are used to store very high quality video, audio formats and compared DVDs is called Blu-ray disc because blue laser is used to read this disc. This disc are a little bit expensive as compared to your CDs and DVDs. Now here we are having some pen drives with the help of this USB flash drives as a portable data storage device is very small, lightweight and removable and rewritable also. Whenever you want to just write down on this one drive, you can just plug in your CPU box and with the help of USB port, you can just rewrite or write down your data on it and you can erase it or you can again and again you can upload on it. Next one is for the memory card. Memory card is extremely small and flat flash drive especially designed for digital cameras, mobile phones and it can be used for transmit of images, videos which is stored in your mobile or digital camera mostly the memory of memory card is up to the 1 TB mostly the memory card is also readable by the laptops as well okay so my take is what we learned today some few points as like we first analyzed our data how we can measure our memory in form of different different types of memory unit KB, MB, GB and TB and there are some few memory types are right there which we learned as like internal memory which is also called primary memory external memory which is also called and secondary memory in internal memory we learned about ram and rom and external memory we learned about hard disk cd dvd blu-ray disk pen drives and memory cards so have a sweet day ahead my dear kids